Uh, we're a forward-thinking family farm based in Ballycastle. Uh, we specialise in cabrito, which is kid goat, seasonal wild game. We also do free-range roast veal and hand-harvested seaweeds. Our catchphrase here is forward-thinking farming, and, and that's what we're all about. We're basically trying to address uh, food waste in the industry, um, find underutilised resources, and, and change people's way of thinking of, as to you know, what they consume and why they consume it. All of the game currently sort of consumed in Ireland is mostly imported. Everything that we shoot in Ireland is being exported. And what we want to address is you know, this, this backlash that's created and, and provide it locally. Um, because again, food miles, it's more sustainable to be sourcing it locally rather than exporting what we have and importing what we need. Furthermore, sort of around the place, we've done other renewable energy projects. In the butchery, we've got solar thermal um, heating system for the hot water. All of the sinks in the butchery are f fitted with uh, flow meters, which basically reduce the, the, the flow water, which reduces our water consumption rate. All lights in the butchery are fitted with low energy bulbs, again, helping to reduce our electricity costs in the uh, premises. The main farmhouse uh, was our, our main starting point. Uh, we built that in 2006. Uh, it incorporates wind power, so we've got turbines on the roof. Uh, again, we've got so solar thermal power to provide heating for the hot water. A pellet boiler also does this. Uh, and then we've got an air source heat pump um, which provides all the heating for the house. Uh, it's basically a carbon neutral house and costs nothing to run. As farmers, we're basically preserving the land for future generations and it makes sense that sustainability is core to your principles. It's not only going to affect my profit margin, but it's going to affect future generations' profit margin. And if I can spend a little bit now to conserve it for the future, it also makes sense that you know, I see the return in my lifetime as well. So the Business in the Community Award uh, we won was for environmental improvement. Uh, and basically it was all based around our commitment to our sustainable development programme. We also got a Countryside Alliance Award for uh, the Local Food Hero Award. Uh, that was basically for uh, our, our promotion of local food and, and trying to encourage people to source things locally and sustainably. We also got an uh, award from uh, the Consumer Council, uh, it's called the Water Championship Award. Uh, it was basically for again our, our commitment to, to water management. We're currently sampling our water here in the hope that we can put in our own anaerobic aerobic digester and treat all of our waste on site. We've also got plans to install rainwater harvesting tanks uh, and this will then feed all the livestock on the farm. Well hopefully in the future uh, Brock Gavin Farm can become a focus farm for other farmers for them to come and uh, experience what we've put into place and realise the, the sustainable benefits of uh, undertaking these achievements.